We are learning tonight that new home sales plunged in November. That's according to new data from the federal government. The report shows sales of newly constructed homes dropped more than 12 percent to 590,000 in November. That's up just 1.4 percent from a year ago. Sales were 672,000 in October, which was well below expectations. As for sales of existing homes, they are on pace to be at the lowest level in 30 years. And housing supply here in Wisconsin remains low. It's making house hunting for first time buyers more difficult. JT Siskowski spoke with one couple who just closed on their first house about the highs and lows of their search and the message of hope they have for other prospective buyers. That is the sound of an exciting future. Zach Wegner and his wife Kirsten have a lot of work to do on their new Madison house to make it a home for their dogs Witten and Cecil. They are first time home buyers who spent three months on the market. It's a weight off your shoulders for sure to find the one. That's definitely the start of it. Uh, it was a you know, tough process just to figure out what we wanted. The couple looked at about a half a dozen homes and they went through their share of heartbreak in the search. We had one rejection. Um, we negotiated with uh, our Oregon house that we first fell in love with. And it didn't work out, unfortunately. But they love the home they ended up with on the city's west side, even if it needs work. We got a lot of painting that we're getting wrapped up on, stripping some wallpaper, uh, putting baseboards down. Zach and Kirsten say that despite all the ups and downs of their story, they think they learned that the lessons for any prospective home buyer in this market are patience and persistence. That's advice echoed by Abby Benbo, the couple's realtor. We have are still seeing bidding wars even in what we consider an off season between the holidays here. There's a, a lot of competition. And in a tight housing market, she advises clients not to let the perfect become the enemy of the good. Like the house that Kirsten and Zach bought, it wasn't perfect. It needed some work done. It needs a bathroom. It needs trim. It needs paint. They're, they get to make it their own. In Madison, J.T. Saskowski, 27 News.